This fridge comes packaged really well. The fit and finish on this fridge is really nice too. It feels really nice and sturdy. This fridge comes with an AC adapter, the DC cigarette lighter adapter. It comes with four straps so you can tie this down in your vehicle. It comes with a three year warranty on the compressor and one year warranty on the rest of it. And then it comes with your instruction booklet. And this fridge is pretty cool because you can reverse the lid on it depending on how you want to put this in your vehicle. So it's pretty cool. Now this model MC20 is a 21 quart or 20 liter capacity and it weighs 24 pounds empty. The temperature range is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Your dimensions on are about 13 inches high, 13 inches deep, and 24.2 inches wide. Now the interior dimensions where you can store your food is about 10 by 10 by almost 14 inches tall. Now the first thing we did is go ahead and plug this AC adapter up to the fridge and to our power outlet on our screened in porch. Alright guys, there's settings for battery protection level, low, medium, high. You can screenshot this and read it if you want to. And there's settings to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So with it plugged in to the wall and off, hold the plus and minus. That's the battery protection level mode. Let's just put it on medium. Let's switch it over to Fahrenheit. There we go. Let's turn it on. You can hear it kicking in there, the compressor. Right now it's at 62 degrees inside. There's your voltage it's getting. It's already, it's on negative four Fahrenheit. So let's go up to about 35. We're gonna see how long it'll take to get down to temperature. I just turned it on for the very first time. I'm gonna stick a thermometer in there and time it. All right guys, I got my stopwatch going here. Stick that in there. It's at 62 degrees. We'll come back here. See how long it takes to get down to temperature. All right, guys, it's been almost an hour. It says 38 in there. It's really cold on the sides there. The sides are 11, 16 degrees. 40 on the bottom. The sides are really, really cold. All right, guys, it's 80 degrees outside. It's set on 35. It says 38 inside. Everything's a little cold. I'm going to hook up my Blue Eddy EB55 to the DC output to the fridge here. Let's we'll see what kind of power it's drawing. I don't know what you're doing. With these fridges, I recommend turning your eco mode off on your power station because when the compressor is turned off, you can see here it's saying zero watt output even though it's it's actually giving the fridge voltage and keeping it running. But you may want to turn eco mode off on your power station because if there's a period of time there that hardly any watts are given out to the fridge, it could turn your power station off and then it's going to turn your fridge off. We plugged up the fridge to the Blue Eddy power station around 3.30 p.m. on a Sunday and I've got a 537 watt hours battery here. So when the compressor first turns on it was pulling about 34 watts for a couple minutes and then it went to about 42 to 45 watts. The compressor would turn on for about 8 minutes and then turn off and it did this twice an hour. Sitting here waiting for the compressor to come back on. So I found this cool calculator on the internet here and if we put in 44 watts for about 8 minutes it gives us 5.867 watt hours used up to run this compressor for the 8 minutes and it did it twice an hour. 
so that comes out about 11.7 or so watt hours used up for the full hour now I've got a 537 watt hours power station so if you divide that by the 11.7 you get about 45 point something almost 46 hours so what I did was time this see if we can make it all the way to 48 hours she's a good gear tester like testing and reviewing gear mama she don't mind hanging out chilling we left the fridge out on the deck the whole entire time and sometimes it got up to 80 sometimes 89 and it rained on us several different occasions you can see here where the rain got where the compressor is it rained all over the entire fridge and the power station several different times and everything seemed to work fine it didn't affect it at all so that's pretty good here's what we had in the fridge the whole entire time about eight water bottles some condiments a couple of drinks there we had a thermometer in there and about 47 hours at 2 30 p.m on tuesday we were down below 20 percent and on the eb 55 there's a red battery light indicator there at that point i went ahead and plugged in the solar panel it was a really really cloudy day so just wanted to plug it up there it's a 100 watt solar panel see what kind of power What's up, buddy? No melted ice to deal with. New York Strip. 